Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are preparing to take the Praxis test for course 5003, then let's work through some of the types of math problems you may find on the exam. The first question, which of the following is the next number in the sequence 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on? This list should be recognizable as a specific series of numbers, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. As such, the next number in this sequence will be 6 squared, which is 36. And there you have it. The second question, which of the following is an example of a geometric number pattern? Let us first define a geometric number pattern. It is one that is based on multiplication or division operations. Now let's look at our options. The first one is 2, 4, 8, 15, and 32. There is no pattern here whatsoever. The second one is the sequence of squared numbers from the previous question and is simply called the square number pattern. So that doesn't fit either. The third one is 3, 9, 27, 81, etc. and is based on multiplying the first number by 3 to find the second, and so on. The same operation is used to find each subsequent number in the series. So this is indeed the geometric number pattern. We can look here, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81, times 3 is 243. Let's look at the fourth option just to double check. So 2, 5, 10, 17, and 26. This is also a sequence. However, each number in the series increases by the next odd number. 2 to 5 is 3, 5 to 10 is 5, 10 to 17 is 7, 17 to 26 is 9, so we'd find that the next one is 11, so 37, and after that 13, so 50. So we can confidently complete the question with the correct answer. All right, the third question. Which of the following equations could represent the relationship between the two sequences listed? T, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. H, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, etc. Let's review the options. T equals 2H. Let's plug the numbers in. 1 equals 2 times 3. 1 equals 6. No. The next one, H equals 2T plus 1. We'll check. 3 equals 2, 1 plus 1. 3 equals 2 plus 1 equals 3. Yes, that is correct, but let's check the other two just in case. H equals 2t. So 5 equals 2 times 2 equals 4. So no. And lastly, t equals 2h plus 1. 4 equals 2 times 9, which is 18. So no. The only one that fits. All right. So now the answer is clear. The final question, which of the following best explains the pattern of 14 plus 5 equals 19, 19 plus 5 equals 24, 24 plus 5 equals 29, 29 plus 5 equals 34. So the first option is these number sentences show an A, B, A, B pattern. They do not. Two of the add-ends are in the teens place and two in the twenties. That doesn't explain the pattern. So not that one. The sums are counting on by tens. The sums are by fives, not by tens. So definitely not that one either. So now we're down to our last option. 
By adding five to each sum, there is a nine and four pattern in the ones place. This is correct. So we can see that in the ones place goes nine, four, nine, four. So that is our correct answer. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you now have a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.